Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about everything we know about Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi so far. At a glance it's, it is set 10 years after the events of Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith. Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi tells the story of how Darth Vader tried to hunt down and kill his old master who has gone missing. Obi-Wan Kenobi is on Tatooine watching over Vader's son Luke Skywalker as we first saw him in 1977 Star Wars Episode 4 A New Hope. McGregor reprises his role as Obi as Obi Wan Kenobi from the Star Wars prequels and Hayden Christensen returns as Darth Vader. Other confirmed cast members include Joe Edgerton, Bonnie Pierce, reprising their roles as Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru. The Mandalorian director Deborah Chow directs all six episodes. The six episode season was set to begin in May 25th but will now begin two days later on May 25th with two episodes launching on Disney Plus just in time for Star Wars Celebration 2022. Audience first met the old grizzled Jedi Master in 1977 when he was played by Alec Guinness. He was living alone on Tatooine when a young boy Luke Skywalker sought him out to make sense of this weird message a droid sent him from a princess. That princess was Princess Leia and she wanted Kenobi then referred to as Ben Kenobi to help her get plans stolen from the Empire of their destructive weapon the Death Star back to the Rebel Alliance. Kenobi did that with Luke Skywalker in tow but at a certain point allowed himself to be killed by the evil Sith Lord Darth Vader. Even in death though Kenobi was strong enough with the force that he remained part of Luke Skywalker's life. He would occasionally advise him as a force ghost all the way through when Luke defeated Vader himself. Vader is eventually revealed to actually be Luke and Leia's biological father, Anakin Skywalker. Fast forward to 1999, 22, year, 20, 22 years after the first Star Wars film introduced Obi-Wan Kenobi, a new film set decades prior introduced him as a young Jedi Knight played by Owen McGregor. Along with his master, Jedi Master Qui-Gon Jinn, he was tasked with settling a trade dispute. However, the mission got more, much more important when the master and apprentice were forced to land on the planet Tatooine where they met a young boy named Anakin Skywalker. Qui-Gon sensed that Anakin was strong with the force and could become a Jedi so he rescued him from a slave life on Tatooine and vowed to train him much as he had Obi-Wan. That plan hit a snag though when Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan got wrapped up in a larger plan by the Darth Lord of the Sith Darth Sidious and had to fight his Sith apprentice Darth Maul. Maul killed Qui-Gon but with his last breath Qui-Gon asked Obi-Wan to train Anakin and he did. The pair got on many adventures over the course of the next decade or so all of which can be seen in Star Wars The Clone Wars animated series. Now Obi-Wan was the master and Anakin the apprentice but along the way and accumulating in 2005 Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith Anakin's fears begin drawing him back to the drawing him to the dark side of the force. Eventually he and Obi-Wan at an epic lightsaber battle on the lava planet of Mustafar, where Kenobi, there Kenobi defeated his apprentice by severing several of his limbs, leaving him for dead. Obi-Wan then witnessed the birth of Anakin's children, Luke and Leia, and vowed to protect them. After their mother's death, Leia was sent away with Senator Bail Organa of Alron, and Kenobi went to Tatooine to give Luke to his only living family, his step-uncle Owen and Aunt Beru, to raise Luke as their own, which is where we find Luke before he meets Obi-Wan 20 something years later in, in the original film. Which finally brings us back to the new show Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi. 20 years is a long time to be alone on a desert planet watching a young child from afar. With the, show, the show will tell the story of how Obi-Wan's former apprentice and now Sith Lord Vader tried to hunt down Kenobi 10 years after the events of Revenge of the Sith meaning Luke Skywalker is now 10 years old and about 10 years from his adventures with, Obi with Obi-Wan. Vader will appear but is also given the task of finding Kenobi with his Inquisitors. They are four sensitive soldiers whose sole purpose is to help the Empire led by Vader and his master Darth Sidious, Emperor Palpatine, to kill and destroy all remaining Jedi. They correctly believe the Jedi are the only ones strong enough to challenge them, so it's time to wipe them out, all of them. Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi is a six-part Disney Plus miniseries. All episodes are directed by Deborah Chow. Chow is also executive producer on the show along with Kathleen Kennedy, Michelle Rejwan, Owen McGregor and Joe B. Harold. Well, that's it for now. Hope you like, hope you like this and uh, please leave a like, comment, share this video and also subscribe. And until the next time, may the force be with you.